Good day. Today we're going to talk about Access 2007 queries, in particular date difference calculations taken from the specific day of when a task was done, taken the arbitrary end date of December 31st, 2005. So we'll get a date difference by the number of days calculation and also as an added bonus by the number of weeks because people don't normally remember things by days but by how many weeks did that task take to do. So without further ado, let's get at it. Now here's the query name for Access 2007 up above here and this query was made from a table of which there are these four fields here and two calculated fields here. So first of all, let's just go through this briefly. These were the various tasks here. And the date upon which those tasks were created. And this is a date field, which is the format is a general date. All right. I took an arbitrary end date of December 31st, 2005. And this is in a medium date format. So what we're looking for is the difference in days between these respective start dates and this end date of 2005, which results in, by days, the number of days difference here. And we can see this makes some sense because here we've got December 27, 2004 to December 31st, 2005, a little bit more than a year's difference. Now, for the number of weeks, we can see, obviously, sticking with our example down here, 369 days equals 52.71 weeks. Now let's look at the design, query design of this to see how we came up with this result in the datasheet view. There's a few things we have to remember. Microsoft Access 2007, like all Access versions, is very particular about how you write your query criterion. All right, these are the two calculated fields here. The name of this calculated field is days elapsed, semicolon, space, date, diff. has to be exactly like this. It is a function. Round bracket, quotation Y, quotation bracket, comma, I should say, square bracket. The flag date create here is this field name here. Okay, it has to be exact. Square bracket, comma end of 2005 here which is fronted by a square bracket and closed by a square bracket is this field here and then you have here a round bracket because way at the front here we have the round bracket there to open it up all right for example if you took out the date diff and you just had DIF instead of DIFF it would not work and over here you have the expression one which is this days elapsed, which is literally taken from this wording here. Days elapsed is, here you have the expression, colon, space, round bracket, square bracket, days elapsed, square bracket, divided by 7 to get to the number of weeks, round bracket. All right, so let's look at what happens here if we didn't have date diff put in exactly. We'll go like this. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go hit the view button, which is the top left. Watch what happens. Do you see here? It says undefined function date diff and expression. It does not recognize it. So you've got to have it spelled exactly correct. Date diff. Let's run it again. And you can see it works. Back to design view. So that is how you get the number of days difference, days elapsed, date diff, to get results for a starting date of a task to an arbitrary end date, such as 2005. And you can also take that result here and give you the number of weeks, which is days elapsed here, divided by 7. Hopefully this helps your Access 2007 query criterion.